Hello, my name is Kumud Gandhi. I'm the founder of the Cooking Academy, the cookery school based in Rickmansworth in Hertfordshire. Today I'm going to show you how to cook some of the things we teach here at the cookery school. Today I'm going to show you how to make sticky rice, often referred to as glutinous rice. So the rice grain is actually quite different to what you might normally associate. The colour is also quite different. Um, so we're going to start off first of all by washing the rice as you would and I want to particularly show you how to wash the rice or any, any type of rice except that of uh, risotto rice. So first of all I'm going to start by adding some warm water to the rice. Oftentimes people say they wash rice in a sieve and actually that's really not the right way to wash rice. It's important to have the rice in a bowl so that the water can begin to soak and so that the, the, the starch that's actually um, stuck to the rice can then begin to soak away and just begin to sort of wash away in the water that it's soaking. In. It's also important that you use warm water so that this begins to bathe the grain and just loosen the starch from the rice. So I'm going to start off just by swirling my fingers around in the water and beginning to loosen that starch away in the water. And then I'm going to begin just by pouring this away. If you want to use a sieve for this process, then do, but actually just by being careful, you'll make sure that you don't lose the grains down the sink. We're going to repeat this process until we end up with clear water and that might take several processes but I do assure you that it does actually benefit in the texture of the rice and also the calorific content of the rice. You do actually lose quite a number of calories by washing away the starch uh, in, in this washing process. I'm just bathing the starch grains here, the, the rice grains rather. Um, I'm not actually sort of, you know, doing this aggressively. I'm actually just sort of swishing them around in the water and then I'll, I'll just rinse this away again. And then start all over again. Until eventually I end up with clear water and I'm ready to go. Now, when you're cooking glutinous rice or sticky rice, you need to soak the rice for at least an hour. Ideally, if you can soak it for longer, the better. So we're looking for nice clear water like this. And here's one that I had earlier. I'm just going to now, um, this, this rice I'm going to leave to soak, but actually now I've got some rice here that I've had soaking for some time, and I'm just going to change the water, and so we're ready to use it. So I'll just wash away the old water and then once I've got clear running water I can then just the rice is ready for use. Now I need to measure the quantity of water that's going to go into here so I'm going to drain away all of the water as much as possible. If you need to use your hands or a colander then do. And then we're just able to add the measured quantity of water. When cooking glutinous rice, you need to start by using boiling water, uh, adding boiling water to the rice. So here at this point now, I'm going to add 200 millilitres of boil boiling water, which is just about there, and then put that straight in which should just about cover the rice, actually, if you sort of settle that down, should just about cover the rice. And then actually we're going to put a lid onto the bowl um, so that it fits quite securely, and then we're going to pop that in the microwave. Now, that's going to go in for three minutes on full power. My microwave is a 1,000 kilowatts. Um, and then we're going to check it at three minutes. We're going to just mix it around with a fork so that we can begin to just uh, swap around any sort of bits that are cooked at the bottom and not at the top or the other way around. And then we're going to put it in for another three minutes, and then it should be absolutely ready at that point. And then we'll give that another, uh, we'll have a look at that in just three minutes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a mould so that we can turn it out onto a plate ready to serve with the gravy and the curry. So, here we go. Let's uh, take a spoon to do that. And turn the rice into here. It can be any mould. You, uh, if your rice is particularly sticky, you could even actually just... Uh, 
dip your finger into a little bit of butter or uh, oil and grease the, the mould first and then actually just turn that out onto your plate. And that's ready to serve.